I'm Danny, and in this episode, I'll teach you how to thrift an old money aesthetic. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoy content about sustainable fashion, upcycling, and thrifting, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell. And if you wanna support the channel in other ways, you can do that by hitting the super thanks, shopping in the merch store, or simply by sharing this episode with a friend. I greatly appreciate that support. Recently, I went down a Pinterest rabbit hole on old money aesthetics, and I realized how easy it was to thrift many of these pieces. Since this episode is centered around thrifting this aesthetic, I just want to say that we're not going to be focusing so much on the true old money brands because we're not going to have access to many of those brands at thrift stores, but we can definitely find pieces that are inspired by those old money brands. The first thing you're going to start looking for when you're thrifting these old money pieces is going to be fabric. You want to stick with natural fabrics, mainly cotton, linen, silk, suede, and leather. Those types of fabrics are very old money. And typically nowadays, those types of fabrics are gonna come in a lot higher of a price point. And so if you thrift these pieces, you're gonna get much better deals. If you plan on thrifting these in person, then what I would suggest is try to go to an area or a city that is close to you where there is an older population. That is where I have had a lot of success. Wherever there's more senior citizens, that's where those seniors are gonna be donating their older items. So there's actually a really good chance that you're going to be finding true vintage pieces that is going to give you that old money aesthetic or you're going to be finding those higher end pieces as well. Of course, thrifting online is also going to be a great option and it's going to be a little bit easier in a way because you can search for specific designers from low end all the way up to designer pieces, mainly on sites like ThreadUp. You can find pieces on Poshmark and The Real Real, but honestly, there's a lot more that have been popping up. So if you do a quick Instagram hashtag search for sustainable fashion, you'll find other local thrift stores, consignment stores and online thrift stores. The really great thing about an old money aesthetic is that it's really easy to mix and match pieces because you're going to primarily look for pieces that are going to be in the same color palette. So you're going to focus on black, white, khaki, camel, navy, and grays. Things in those colors are going to mix and match very well together and they're really going to fit this old money aesthetic. So focus on searching for those. Now, if you want to go outside of these solid colors, stick with classic prints. So think polka dots, pinstripes, seersucker, houndstooth, herringbone, all of those types of prints are going to give you more of that classic old money look. Although you're going to primarily stick to those neutral colors, you can still add in pops of color to your wardrobe. And I am going to reference Princess Diana and Kate Middleton for this example, because they are such great style inspirations for old money, but also they give you a more modern look at old money or a more wearable version. So if you just take a look at this photo right here of Princess Diana, and she has that really bright red sweater wrapped around her neck, that's a great way that you can incorporate a bright color. In terms of styling, a really easy look that can be very old money is simply a monochromatic look. If you're like, I don't know what to wear today, then just get pieces from your wardrobe that are the same color, pair those together, and there you go. Now I'm gonna talk about specific pieces that you can be looking for at a thrift store that are actually pretty easy to find because this old money aesthetic, it doesn't necessarily suit modern day fashions that we see. Although I love the old money aesthetic because I feel like it's so classic. It kind of never goes out of style, but it's not something that you're always going to see in storefronts. So the first piece I want to talk about is just a button up. These button ups are great for any season. If you want to wear them during like fall, winter, you can wear cottons, you can wear silk. That's going to give you a more dressier evening type look in the summertime you can be looking for your button ups that are made out of linen that's going to be great you can also do a sleeveless button up for a more summertime look here's a great example of that and as you can see there's also that pop of color with that little cardigan sweater that's added on to this for your button ups though you're definitely going to want that bright white crisp button up that's going to go with so many outfits and then you can look for it in other basic colors and sometimes even in some prints as well 
Next, let's talk about sweaters. I feel like sweaters are so great. Even if you're not wearing them in a conventional way, you're gonna see that a lot of this old money aesthetic is gonna incorporate sweaters, often tied around the neck loosely. You can also just place them draped over the shoulder. And these sweaters can be used really during any season. Like I've mentioned, if it's gonna be during a warmer season, then you don't actually have to wear the sweater. You're just gonna drape it. and It's gonna add this extra layer to your wardrobe. Of course, if you're just starting with this aesthetic, you're gonna wanna stick to some basic colors. So you should be searching for a white sweater, a black sweater, a tan sweater, a navy one. I would start there before adding in those bright pops of color because your neutrals are just gonna mix and match a lot lot better. Let's talk about blazers because that's another great piece that's going to be a wonderful layer. It's going to add dimension to your wardrobe. But once again, I would be searching for these blazers in your basic colors. So black, maybe a bone color, your navies. Those are great. Those are going to take you a long way when you're just starting. The next thing I want to mention is something I think really anybody's wardrobe should have. It's not just an old money aesthetic thing. It's something that is really going to elevate the look of any of your winter wardrobe and that's just a wool coat a wool coat once again in our basic neutral colors you're going to start first with a camel a gray a black a navy those are wonderful they're going to pair so well with so many different outfits now once you have those you can branch out a little bit so i have most of those colors. I think I'm only missing a black one. And I branched out and I actually have a, a red one as well. And a one that's kind of like an aqua turquoise that I've added into my wardrobe that will be a, a pop of color. Now that's more outside of the realm of like a true old money look. Old money outfits don't really have a lot of like bright pieces in them that are over the top or drawing too much attention. Now, I have been following a TikToker. I cannot remember the name of her handle, but I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna link it in the description. You can check her out. And she really gets into detail about authentic old money wardrobe and style. But in this episode, we're more talking about outfits that are inspired by the old money aesthetic versus an authentic old money aesthetic. Now let's talk about the bottom pieces for your wardrobe, starting with pants. So typically in this aesthetic, you're really gonna be looking for trousers. Once again, I'm gonna say it a million times in those neutral colors. So you can get a white trouser, a khaki, a navy, and a black. That's gonna take you a very long way. You're gonna be able to make so many outfits from this. Now for this, I would really suggest more of a loose fit or like a wide leg fit. We don't really do a skin tight fit with this aesthetic. So that's where you can start. And then if you don't want to do pants and you want to add in a skirt or a dress, you can do that as well. Now for the skirts, we stick to two main shapes here. And the first one I'm going to mention is just a basic pencil skirt type shape. And then the other kind is more of a circle skirt, like an A-line type shape that you can search for these skirts in. And the skirts, they can be in our, our basic colors and they can be actually in a mixture of fabrics. So the skirts can be a really fun element that you can add to your wardrobe. If we're talking about dresses, the look that you're more going for is a very modest yet tailored look. If we look at Kate Middleton, for example, you'll notice that all of her dresses, they're quite modest, but they also, they really look very tailored to her. Like it was made for her. Jackie O also wore pieces like this too. So that's the kind of look you're going to be going for. If we're talking brands that can replicate this type of look, easy brands to search for are Banana Republic and J. Crew. I see those two brands a lot when I thrift and I've found a lot of great quality pieces from them that are so great for your wardrobe. Of course, they're at a much lower price point than those other true old money brands, but these are really gonna add that extra feminine flair into your wardrobe. Now, the other thing I do wanna quickly mention are suit sets. Suit sets aren't quite as common, but what I like about suit sets is that, yes, you can wear them together, but you can also break them apart, and then you'll have even more outfits that you can create with other combinations and pieces from your wardrobe. Something I quickly wanna dive into is visual inspiration for your old money aesthetic. So 
If you go on Pinterest, you're gonna find some outfits if you're looking up old money outfits that are gonna look like tennis inspired outfits or equestrian inspired outfits. And what I've been learning on my deep dive is that although those outfits can be considered old money, they aren't worn in the same way today as they were back then, if we're really gonna go back generations. When true old money would wear those outfits, they're actually going to wear those to the tennis court. They're going to wear them horseback riding. And then we see people though nowadays and they're adopting these aesthetics and they're wearing them in places that old money wouldn't consider appropriate. So I'm just gonna kind of mention that in passing because if you really wanna create that authentic aesthetic, if that's your goal, then being mindful of where, where you're wearing these pieces will be a part of that. But if you don't care and you're like me and you wanna wear something like this, like this outfit right here, it's more like old money inspired. You notice that I have like that white button up and I have a classic print on my sweater. I have that houndstooth print. So I wouldn't imagine Kate Middleton wearing something like this, but this is something that I just personally liked. Also the length of my skirt was a little bit short, which is why I wore tights under it. Not everything is going to be exact and precise, but if you're like me and you just wanna have like an inspired look, this is something that you can kind of go for. Now let's talk shoes. So shoes are gonna be some basic neutrals and honestly, some of these shoes really any woman should have in her wardrobe. The first and foremost, the classic black pointed toe pump. One of my favorite pieces ever. This shoe, I actually invested in a Louis Vuitton because I wear this shoe so much. It goes with so much. So what I would suggest for this though, is that wear a heel that you can comfortably walk in. That's also a part of that, like old money aesthetic. You want to be able to move very, very well in these shoes. And the good thing is that I actually was able to get mine on consignment. I got mine on Poshmark, nearly new, they were great. They haven't failed me yet. So you can also thrift these high-end pieces as I had mentioned at the beginning. Now, some other pieces that you can look to add into your wardrobe are gonna be basic loafers. You're gonna look for these in suede and in leathers. You can search for them in your neutral colors, your browns, your blacks, your whites, or maybe even a combination of those things. Another thing to wear would be a cute flat. Maybe it has a kitten heel, maybe it has just a small platformed heel, but you'll see those a lot, especially if we look back to Princess Diana outfits that a lot of people pull inspiration from. She wore quite a few different flat styles. Let's discuss accessories. So one really easy accessory that we can talk about is a belt. and. To build your wardrobe, all you really need is a nice leather black and brown belt. But here's the thing, we wanna stay away from any gaudy buckles or hardware and you wanna avoid flashy logos. So remember that trend when everybody had that Gucci belt? Well, that very gaudy, flashy G, that's not really old money. So yeah, there are a lot of really, really wonderful options that I have found on the real reel. They're a bit pricey, so I'm kind of saving up to get myself a really, really nice belt that is gonna be designer, but it doesn't scream designer, it's not loud. So that's something you can look for. Also, you're probably gonna see a lot of scarves when we talk about old money. And of course, one of the most famous scarves, the Hermes scarf. You might see influencers wearing the scarf tied around their head. And really, you're gonna only wear that scarf around the head if you're actually protecting your hair. In other cases, you would just wanna style that. You would actually wanna wear that scarf around your neck or you can add it to a purse, which I love doing as well. For jewelry, things can be kept really simple. So you're gonna be looking for things like gold, silver, pearls, diamonds, things like that. You're also not going to be usually wearing any large statement pieces. If anything, if you're going to wear like a larger necklace, that's usually reserved for a more cocktail or evening look if we're thinking about old money. But aside from that, you're, you're really going to stick to a lot of like stud earrings, smaller pieces that are really delicate, and that is going to look a lot more old money. Purses should also be mentioned as well. So Old money purses are not gonna be flashy and bright and extravagant. Typically, they're not gonna be in very vivid colors. The very wearable old money purses to wear are usually in brown or black. So that's primarily what you're gonna stick to, but it's not gonna have a lot of, like I've mentioned before, gaudy 
hardware on it. You're definitely not going to have a really visible logo or any logo print on this purse. And one piece of advice that I took away from this one TikToker that I was watching was she was saying, if it looks like Queen Elizabeth would wear it, then it's old money. Go for something like that. So it's kind of funny because I've been looking for some purses when I've been thrifting and purses are actually pretty easy to thrift, whether you're in person or online. In person, I've had so much luck with vintage purses that are so fun and they're typically, they're real. They're leather or they're suede. And so I've been looking for a lot of purses that actually read a little bit older. Like they read more of like a Queen Elizabeth type of purse. And I've been working on incorporating those into my wardrobe instead of anything that's actually newer, current or trending really i'm not focused on trends i'm focused on like that old money inspired aesthetic last thing i'll mention is hair so hair is usually clean simple well kept and sometimes maintaining that natural texture in your hair you want to look very effortless so my hair like today not hair sprayed this is actually i slept on this hair and i just brushed it through this is day old hair but as you can see really soft just pull to the side also even a soft ponytail that looks like you just left from the riding stables anything like that that's not too extreme is going to give you more of that old money aesthetic hairstyle that's it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it also gave you some ideas and inspiration to thrift your old money aesthetic. Instead of going to the store and buying it all brand new, you really don't have to. This type of look is so easy to create from your local thrift store. So if you really enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and also checking out some other recent episodes up here that are all about thrifting, upcycling, and sustainable fashion. I really appreciate you joining me and I hope to see you very soon.